Mitch, uh, crazy to think this is your very first final. Are you nervous? No, it's just yeah. another game, isn't it? It's, um, but no, it's it's. Uh, I guess I've been part of the Blues since 2008, and be, uh, it's a pretty exciting week for, for everyone here. But um, it's been the first, my first Shield Finals. Um, a nice little way to finish the season as well. Yeah, definitely had an epic win in the Marsh Cup. How much of a confidence boost? And I guess just your season in general is it heading into this final. Yeah, it's, it's been an unusual season for everyone. Um, we're playing cricket in April. It's was it round five of the, the footy this week, and, and um, we're still playing cricket. So it'll be interesting playing cricket in April and what the conditions will we'll find ourselves in, in up in Brisbane. But um, yeah, look, it's it's really exciting for everyone after, especially a couple of days ago in the one day one day final to, to win that one was was a uh, I guess a nice little kickstart to this final this finals week. I guess if you like, and hopefully we can cap it off with a shield win this week as well. What kind of conditions are you expecting up there? I'm not sure to be honest. I haven't played up at, at AB Field for a little while. Um, you probably get one of two things. Either you get a really flat wicket, uh, which is, is going to be hard work for the five days and perhaps deteriorate and bring the spinners into it. Um, or you're going to get a little bit in it to start with and, and depending on, on what the weather the week is going to hold, uh, you could get some, you know, some soft divots in there that harden up and, and create some some, uh, some chances for the fast bowlers. So we'll, we'll wait and find out today when we get up there for training. Um, but look, that's that's what uh, what you get when you get to host the final. You can uh, can worry about that. And, and us as the visitors, just going to have to play some good cricket. There's an exceptional amount of stars in, in the Blues side because of obviously the schedule and whatnot. But what do you expect in from Queensland? They've got an equal amount of yeah, yeah, they have. They haven't lost to. Well, I don't think they've lost anyone to, to IPL. So um, they've been a pretty settled side through the through the summer, apart from a couple of Aussie guys in and out. So they're a strong side. We saw them last week in Wollongong. Um, I think they've only got one change there with with Wildermuth coming back in. So we know what we're, we're up against. Um, you know, strong batters up the top there. Some experienced bowlers and, and Swepo who's been been their banker with the, the ball and in fourth fourth innings spinning the ball. So um, for us, we, we know what we're coming up against. We're just going to have to play play the better cricket, all the cliches aside. But um, yeah, it's, it's going to be an exciting week for both teams. It was a pretty impressive win, Marsh Cup, but these youngsters, Jack Gabriel, Sean Abbott, not youngsters, but they've played very well. What do you make of their game at the moment? Yeah, they're going great. Uh, Jed was, was outstanding last week, uh, two days ago with his 100. Shawnee has been phenomenal for a few years and, and his consistency is getting better and better. And um, It's exciting for for us older guys um, to watch them come through and, and, and perform like they do on the big stage in finals and big games, it's, it's impressive. So um, we had a, a few guys who, who had not much experience in the last Shield game step up in the bat and perform really well. So hopefully that can continue this week and we can, uh, I guess, put our, our most all-round performance together as a group and, and hopefully finish the week with, with, that, uh, with the Shield. Um, it hasn't, yeah, you haven't really stopped, I guess. Personally, how are you feeling in like, your game at the moment? Do you feel good? Because as you said, it's been a pretty yeah, long summer. It's been a grind, uh, but it has been for everyone. So, um, yeah, I'd, I'd be lying if I, I, I didn't see the finish line um, at the end of the week. But it's a, it's a big carry there to, to finish finish the season with a with a Sheffield Shield for, for everyone for this group, especially. Be uh, you know, it's a, it's a it's a big week. It's a special week, but um, yeah, I'd be lying if I wasn't looking forward to a bit of time off as well. Uh, do you take do you take a lot of time off following this heading, and then you get a bit. Winter, winter schedule obviously starts up, so yeah, how, it's, long it's, off, how long will you plan just to rest? Um, it depends a lot on that, that winter schedule. We've got the, the caravan um, pencilled in there, so if that goes ahead, it'd probably only be a few weeks for the fast bowlers. Um, batters get a lot longer, um, which they're lucky for them. But um, <laughs> yeah, look, it'll be tools down, it'll be um, just refresh mentally and physically, take care of a few things that first I've been managing for a little bit with, with my body. So um, yeah, one more big big push to, to hopefully a shield final and then, then rest up and, and uh, watch some footy and play some golf. Yeah, body feeling good? It's okay, it's April. It's um, It's been going since June. So um, yeah, it's like everyone here manage things throughout the year and, and no different for myself. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's good enough for another week. Nice to have a bit of a rest. The winter schedule, though, how much, like, you know, how important would that be to get a bit of international cricket under your belt before the Ashes? Yeah, look, uh, I said just before, I'm not looking too far ahead. Um, it's almost the way of the world at the minute with, with the COVID situation is one week at a time, but um, the winter schedule is what it is, and, and I'll look forward to that and plan to that after I've had a break and, and recharge the batteries and, and um, hopefully get the handicap down. So, um, 
Yeah, look, it's as I said, uh, you know, cliches aside, it's it's a big week this week, but then I think everyone needs that chance to, to refresh and recharge, and, and then we'll focus on, on the international schedule when it comes. This bonus, bonus point system that's coming into play, does that change your game plan at all for this final? Um, I think it's a really good thing. Um, I think it means that the game's sort of in play the whole time. I think we've seen in, in years gone by that the home team can, they don't have to win, so they they can play the way they want and, and not have to worry about pushing for a victory. So to have the bonus point system there, I think is a, a big carrot for us to, um, you know, we're, we're going to be in the game for the, for the five days, especially um, irregardless of what points they want to, want to do with the game. Um, yeah, we haven't had, I guess, sat down so far as a group and, and discussed how we're going to take on the week. You know, we've got a couple of days up in Brisbane once we get there today to, to, to train and, and discuss all that. But um, it's exciting. I think it's a, it's a good thing for the Shield final and hopefully we see some exciting cricket. Did you catch any of the Masters yesterday? Pat Tiama having a win? Yeah, we've all, there's been a few of us that kept, it, kept an eye on it. Um, yeah, it's, it's what a tournament. It's, it's fantastic to watch. Um, it's, it's tough golf. We all love our sport, so um, you know, big win for him and for, for golf. Um, and look, that's what I look forward to in, in my time off, watching the golf, playing golf, watching the Giants. Um, be a good few weeks. <laughs> well, good luck this weekend. <laughs> Thank you very much.